Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to We in France. I'm Diane, and everyone knows that France has a reputation for being charming and beautiful. And guess what? It is well deserved. Let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, this is Bayouard, which is one of France's petites cités de caractère. France has several designations like this that classify some of its most beautiful places. And right here in the Loire Valley, on an island in the Loire River, is the tiny 120-person village of Bayouard. I'm going to show you around, tell you more about this village, and maybe you'll see exactly why France really is one of the most gorgeous places in the world. Let's go. We're not far from where I live here in the Maine et Loire department, just a stone's throw from the city of Angers. Now, Bayouard is just south of one of my favorite white wine appellations, which is Savignères. It's in the heart of the Loire Valley. Now, this three kilometer long island is also a Loire Valley UNESCO World Heritage Site. And something I want to point out is that the village is built up high to protect it from the frequent floods as the Loire's water level changes drastically. And right here we have a listing of all of the flooding that has happened over the years here in Bayouard. And as you can see, uh, back in 1910, it was actually up to uh, over six meters, which is quite high. I'm going to back up so you could see where the ground is that I'm standing on. I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to have a flood that comes up that high. Wow. The island was formed by lava almost 400 million years ago, and you could see that here the Notre Dame Chapel is still sitting on this rocky part today. It's pretty impressive that the foundation came from deep magma inside the earth and pushed it all up, then hardened and turned it into this rock structure on which we can now stand and even use as shelter. The Notre Dame Church was erected in the 15th century and has been listed as a historical monument since 1862. It's also been a pilgrimage site dedicated to the Virgin Mary. And that's where these bells are coming from, <laughs> right up here at Bell Tower. All right, let's go take a look. Mass is almost in session. I don't want to go intrude, but over here, if you look closely, there's actually a group of musicians. We see, let's see, I think I see a violin player, several singers, pianist. It's really a gorgeous day. Very cool for the, the regular temps of the season. It's in the, gosh, high 60s right now. Um, it is quite early still, but with just low 70s uh, for, the, for the day, 22 Celsius. Um, it feels great for me. You guys know me. I hate summer. So uh, for me, 70 in August, perfect. All right, let's head up here, show you the Loire. All right, let's head down and check it out. I'm going to watch my step. That would definitely add a very, very bad part to this video if I fall on my feet. If I fall on my face, rather. Whoa. Man, and as you could see, I'm walking on like the riverbed here, which is sand. The water level is super low. This is not supposed to be necessarily a beach. Um, and as you saw before with the flood markers from years gone by, uh, this water can get crazy, crazy high. But right now it is super low. Um, as you can see, the water level doesn't even start for a little while. Um, but yeah, beautiful, all the same. And if I showed you the river here. From this angle, you would just think I'm kind of in a field or maybe some kind of beach. You don't even see the river till I 
take you to the right and indeed it is a river because if you look closely you'll see a boat don't want to go too fast on you here but you will see a boat coming through so there is enough water uh, for boating and that sort of thing but um, I've seen this area completely uh, completely filled up almost flooded obviously not as high as what it was in 1910 but um, yeah this water level is very low I actually don't think I've ever been able to walk in this area before although water levels generally are a bit lower in the summer this is extraordinarily low and as you can see from all the footprints it's been uh, pretty low like this for quite a while now if you listen closely maybe you'll hear the chickens saying good morning to us it's a nice chicken coop there. Get your fresh eggs. <laughs> Good morning, guys. And then here on the south side of the island, across the Loire, we have Rochefort, one of the many in France. This one is Rochefort-sur-Loire. Makes sense, since that's the Loire River. Looking pretty, very nice. And you just crossed the bridge there, which we did, to come over. Yeah, so here, as you can see, you can see the island, and then over here we have uh, Sauvignon, where I told you uh, is one of my very favorite French white wines made with the Chenin grape, the Chenin Blanc. Um, and yeah, it's a really great region to come if you want to get some of the, the best white wine uh, from the Loire Valley. And you can grab something to eat while you're here. This one's called Restaurant Le Guimet. And you'll see along the bottom the pricing, so you could get uh, two courses, three or four, starting with an appetizer, which in French is called une entrée, not to be confused with an entrée in English, that's actually called in French a plat. So you can get an appetizer, a main course, then it looks like they do have cheese, and then there's uh, a dessert with apricots. Um, so those are the choices. And something else which is great about a lot of uh, France's villages is that there's always a walking path like this, a sentier, so you can come and do some hiking. Uh, you don't always have to stay in the village and you can get uh, some good exercise in while taking in the beautiful views. Look closely. We have some words to live by here. All right, thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this look at one of the Loire Valley's hidden gems and I'll see you right back here on We in France soon. Salut.